Hi everyone, my name is Parag Paul and welcome back in the new lecture of VTAP. In this particular lecture, we will see how we can assign a load and how we can generate a load combination for this building. Right? So you might thinking about where is a staircase. Right? This is an obvious question from your side and I expect this question from your side. But still for, for a staircase provision, for staircase design, I already provided the space over here that which we'll discuss in the next video. But in this video, it is very important to see from how we can set up the units if we change. You can see the units at the bottom. Now, you can see like my all forces in turn in force like kgf per mm square. So this thing is not accepted, you know, as per the Indian conditions, how we can change it. Click on the unit and click on the MKS metric SI defaults. If, on, if I click on that, just bring the your... Uh, mouse cursor on this units uh, tab and you, you will redirect it to the present assigned forces for this model right so if you want to change it again just click on unit whatever system you want you just click on that system it will automatically reflect right now after that first of all go to the plan go to the base story click on apply ok select all the supports ok and assign the restraint condition of fixed support click on apply and okay okay because it is very important you just assign the supports at the bottom now after that what you have to do go to the plan go to the top story whatever you have apply and okay select all the slabs right and just click on this pattern okay click on the all stories Again, click escape. Okay, all stories. Okay, here also. Now select all slab. Bottom are not selected. Select them manually. After that, go to the assign, shell load, and uniform. Right. So now here you need to assign the dead load and live load. Actually, you can provide dead load. Okay, in auto manner okay like automatic manner because software itself having the factor one which automatically calculate the self weight of the building but as per my understanding you should provide the dead load from your side because when you provide the dead load from your side it will a good com good combination will be generated good design will generate because yes there is a process po possibility to carry the more load in future that's why right so it will design as per in that manner so first of all just go to my go to my excel sheet whatever i provided go to the slab load you can see i have shown you how to calculate the 3 kilonewton per meter in last uh, lecture like a very long back lecture if you see the video properly in that you can see the 3 kilonewton per meter loading combination of the dead load how we calculate it it's very simple our thickness of the slab is 0 0.12 okay 1 meter we consider as a length and 25 is a density so it gives a dead load as a 3 kilonewton per meter live load we calculated from the is codes like where it is provided from that we selected that yes live load is as a live load as for human behavior we consider as light 2 kilonewton per meter and the floor finish they provide us 4.155 so as per our condition the total dead load of the slab is become equals to 4.155 plus this 3 right it means 7.155 kilonewton per meter but usually we should provide this load let's provide this load as 6 point uh, uh, let's provide the road as um, load as the 7 kilonewton right so what you have to do is let's go to the e tab write down 7 no need to write minus or plus just write down 7 okay and click on apply okay you can see that the 7 kilonewton you can reflect at the top okay after that just come again over here okay this is dead load what we apply okay including the floor including the uh, including the floor finish and all now just click all the slab once again wait a minute i have selected the column okay now assign shell load uniform and assign the lie load as 
how much 2 kN okay so release with 2 apply okay so you can see the live load also apply now after that go to select all the beams first of all okay after that assign frame load distributed now here you can see you need to assign first of all the dead load of the slab uh, dead load of the beam and the wall load you can you know remember one thing that here is a height of the overall floor is 3 meter okay so my question is how much amount of the load will acting on this 1 meter of the beam okay so he, the load whatever act on this 1 meter span of the beam is nothing but the 1 meter of length okay width is 0 0.3 plus thickness of the plaster 0 0.1 0. 0. 0. 0.12 uh, 0. 0.012 meter in both direction and the height of the wall is 3 meter but we usually calculate the load forward only 1 meter only but what about the rest 2 meter of the height of the wall so in this particular 1 meter span of the beam the load of the 3 meter height of the wall will be applicable so as per my sheet if you go to the wall loading you can see the wall load is having 230 mm thickness okay so as per this calculation 0 0.23 is the thickness of wall okay into the density of wall plus 20 into 2 because in both direction we will make the plaster which is 0 0.012 into 20 okay which is b5 so you get value as 4.85 this is load for only one meter of height of the wall but our height of the wall is three meter so multiply with the three you will get value of 14.55 now also it is very important to apply the dead load of the beam so here in this our model we provided a beam of 0 0.3 by 0 0.3 width into depth and the density of the beam is about 25 like reinforced cement concrete so 0 0.3 into 0 0.3 into 25 i got value of 2.25 so 2.25 plus this 14.55 i got value of 16.8 so i provide 17 kilometer load on my external beam and internal also so what i can do is remember one thing it is 14.55 and 2.25 so i write 14.55 plus 2.25 so you might be thinking about it how this particular relation will satisfy don't worry it e each and every function will work as a excel for one enter condition it means in one enter condition you can do the calculation here if i click on enter it will show me the addition you can also do the multiplication okay so after that click on apply okay and okay so you can see the load is up assigned properly so now when we go for the define and the load combination so there is this combination what we generated right so now click on okay and after that just click on this run button so to do the analysis okay when this analysis run this all combinations what we have generated that combination will consider in this particular design parameter you can see this kind of particular design parameters for reflect over here okay so you can see the shear forces let's see the shear forces over here okay this kind of shear forces are generated let's check the bending moments okay right so this kind of the bending moment is created you can see the values over here right okay just click on the elevation just make it the elevation accordingly to to the 5 or accordingly to the 9 okay you can see let's change to this particular elevation according to the other condition apply okay so here also if we check we can see the actual forces okay this much of the axial forces we are getting over here okay now after that okay show values you can see the values also how much shear forces we are getting 
right so all these values are are getting accordingly the load combinations what we have generated okay that load combinations we have over here according to to these we are getting this much of the combinate this much of the shear forces now let's see the bending moment once again okay you can see this much bending moment are created over here okay in coming video in that means in next video i am discussing i will i will tell you about how we can assign the earthquake load wind load in this particular building okay so in such a way that we will continue toward the design of a building a sample model but after that we will definitely take two design uh, of the building projects in which we will consider we will uh, calculate all the possible thing thank you so much guys have a nice day bye, -bye.